Okay, so most code question, right? For the most code, um, a dot represents one unit of time and a dash represents two units of time. So when they press in the button down, when they send in this message, a dash then, the button would be pressed down for a bit longer, for three three times as much as, as a dot would need to be pressed down. And in between any dots and dashes, it represents one unit of time as well, okay? So I suppose they had to get the timings right when they were pressing these, these buttons. Now the code for J is dot dash 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 how many units of time does this take well a dot remember now represents one unit of time okay so we've got one there um dash represents um three units of time we've got three of them okay so we need to add three three times yeah um but also in between in between represents one unit of time so we've got one there, one there, and one there. So we need to add on another th three lots of one, right? So add them together there, you get then 13 units of time, okay? Right, three letters have different codes. Each of these codes takes five units of time. What are the three codes, okay? Um, so the three letters, this, this, read this carefully, different codes, each of these codes takes five units of time, what could the, these, what are these three codes, well, um, so if we think about one of the letters, then it's got to have, um, it's got to have this here, isn't it, it could have a dash, okay, which would represent three units of time, um, and then of course it could have a dot as well, which represents four units of time, but of course the gap between them would give me five, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's one way we could do it, isn't it? We could have a, a dash and a dot, dash, dot, and a gap between. So that's three units, that's one unit, that's one unit. Or we could have a dot, dash, you could go that way. Okay, it's exactly the same really, but obviously the reverse process, okay, adds up to five units. Um, the other possible approach you could have is three dots. Three dots. Because if we think about three dots, each represents one. Each represents one unit of time. So that's one and one and one, which is three. But of course, then there's one in between. One unit of time in between each of them. That adds up to five. So those are the possible options there. Okay. Um, question 